Thrift with me. Time for another thrift haul. Okay, so this is my first day back at the thrift stores and I am now at the Goodwill. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, at this Goodwill, I always typically start with the movies. And there were some of these that were, oh my goodness, I'm making a huge mess. Um, they were sealed and they were new, but I think they had $5 on them. And today was Memorial Day, my first day back at the thrift stores. And they were having a spend $20 you get 50% off your entire purchase, but you have to spend $20. So I feel like when they do that, um, it makes you buy more, but in the long run, you buy more, but you save more, so it's worth it. And everybody wants an excuse to buy more, right? So um, the first item I pick up is this cross stitch. It's a little prayer. And I thought it would be super, super cute in a baby's room. So I went ahead and grabbed that. I think it was $4.99. And um, I ended up getting it half off. So I should be able to do decent with that. And I don't know... Um, what was I going to say? Oh my goodness. Oh, I know what I was going to say. My thrift with me videos, I do like to add an educational element to it because you guys come to me for learning about bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high. So what I've done is at the end of the video, I am adding um, some screen sharing, uh, not really screen sharing because I'm just pointing my phone at my laptop. Um, it was easier that way and... I'm sharing with you guys the items that I picked up, what they sold for. This was really cute. Maybe I should have picked that up, but I didn't want to deal with shipping it. And I'm, I wasn't sure if it was hand painted, but it was really cute. So in this video, I go to two separate Goodwills. I decided to just put the footage in one video because, you know, I didn't really find anything that was like amazing but I did find some good stuff that I'm going to make some money on and um, right now I'm just kind of going down the aisles if you guys see something that maybe I should have picked up please comment below um, you can actually write in like a timestamp, and then I can click on that timestamp, and it will take me to the item so definitely let me know if you see something I missed. It's so fun when you guys are like, oh my gosh, you missed this bolo. I don't mind at all. I enjoy learning. Those were kind of cute. They were little ceramic dinosaurs, but I think they were hand painted. So I'm just kind of looking through the glass and stuff. Sometimes I find some good little trinkets to sell, but my favorite section is right here, the toy section. And I usually look for new old stock items that are sealed because I'm not a big fan of putting together puzzles or counting game pieces. Um, if the price is good, then sometimes I'll just grab it and I'll be like, okay, well, if I can't sell it for um, a complete game, maybe I can sell replacement pieces. If you guys have been watching my Mercari What Sold videos and my eBay, you have seen that I have sold a lot of Leapfrog. So I did put those items in my cart. This was kind of cool, um, but I don't think it was new, so I passed. And I'm on the hunt. I'm looking for some bolos. I don't know why I paused. I must have been looking at something. That's so funny. And there were some little, I don't know who he is. Does anybody know who he is? Is he a bolo? Should I have grabbed him? I don't know what this thing it said, Crayola on it. It's a weird little figure. Not sure what he does. 
And I'll tell you, both the Goodwills I went to, most of their plush was gone. It was really weird. Maybe it's because they've been shut down for so long and not accepting donations. I'm not really sure. But yeah, I was thrilled when I saw 50% off. I'm like, yes. Oh, I didn't see that Etch-A-Sketch. I probably should have got that. See the little red Etch-A-Sketch? I think those are vintage. That probably would have been a good thing to pick up. Can't believe I didn't even see it until the video. Oh my goodness. I don't know what those are. I think those were there before lockdown. I think I remember seeing them. But, you know, nobody's been there, so I'm sure a lot of this is old merchandise. So, I put this in my cart. <clears throat> it had a 99 cent tag on it in the inside, right there. But then I was looking at it later, and on the outside of the plastic bag, it had a, uh, another price. And I don't know, I just thought she was really cute. She's definitely vintage. Maybe I should have got her. Do you guys think I should have got her? Maybe I should have, but I didn't. <laughs> oh my goodness, thrift with me. Little Paw Patrol. I usually pick those items up. I probably should have grabbed that. Again, I like to pick up like categories of toys like Paw Patrol, Octonauts, Top Wing, uh, Cars, you know, all the little cartoons that kids love. And I buy those items and I hold on to them and then I put them in big lots. So this little uh, Fisher Price uh, little house right here, I think I've sold those before, but um, I was hoping it would have the furniture, but it did not. So I didn't get it. The weights. I was hoping they were going to have some barbells because those things are hot right now. But, you know, I think um, most people are starting to get out of lockdown. lockdown. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I know that the thrift store I went to today, they had masks for people that they could buy for a dollar if they didn't have a mask and they were like spraying your hands with something. Um, so they were being super cautious. After you used your cart, they had you put it in a certain spot and then they wiped it down. Um, the Goodwill, the employees were wearing masks, but that was it. So they were not requiring everyone to wear masks or taking any other extra precautions. So I was looking through and um, that one I believe was new this one had the wrong game in it, so I was glad I looked. So I went ahead and just put those two back. This was a cross stitch. It did not have any of the thread in it. These are just thank you cards that I decided to pick up. And I'm gonna show you some of the other things. I did put some stuff back as I didn't think they would comp out well. I put her back. I did get the picture, the cross stitch picture. Um, so I think I'm at the second Goodwill now. No, I'm still at the first one because that was just in my cart. I got my uh, clips mixed up. But these are Campbell Soup um, greeting cards, pop-up greeting cards. And I haven't take, taken them out and looked at them yet, but I'm really curious about those. Pretty cool. And then um, I find this really cool mug. It's coming up here in a minute. I think, I think I show it. I think I show it, maybe I don't. I'll show you comps at the end of the video if I don't show it. Oh, here it comes. Super cool, Chicago Bowls. Um, it's a vintage little coffee mug. So I definitely grabbed that. And if you guys have not seen my mug what um, videos, items to be on the lookout for, mugs, I call them category videos because I will pick a category and I will search solds and comparables for that category. And I have, I think, three or four videos on mugs, different, um, different types of category videos on mugs. So definitely check those out because there is money in mugs for sure. And yep, 
just kind of checking out the glassware. That was a set, so I looked at the bottom, but it was uh, something modern. I like the vintage stuff. All right, let's see. This was kind of cool. Mama LaRue, but um, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe I should have looked that up. It was kind of cool. All right. Now this store was a little busier than the other stores I went to today. You can't tell right now because I try to keep people out of my videos. Every once in a while you'll see some feet, but um, I, I usually put the camera down when people are coming just because I don't, you know, I, I try to um, not put people, I mean, I wouldn't want to be in someone's video if I was shopping. I don't know, maybe I'm weird like that. Okay, I did pick this up. It's a Bucilla, it's, it's a pillow and you, it's needlepoint or cross stitch, I'm not sure. So I did put that in my cart. I don't know what this thing is. I forgot to look it up. I lo tried looking it up, but I couldn't find it. But after I opened it up, I was like, well, maybe I should put in those keywords. And I never went back to it. So it's something, I don't know, it's definitely vintage. They had a $50 on it, so I could have got it for 25, but it was a bear. It would have been hard to ship for sure. I'm looking for like uh, cross stitch kits here. I like selling cross stitch. They're either bread and butter or big money. I think um, in one of my recent what sold videos, I sold one for $70. It was awesome. Oh, here's the one I threw in my cart and didn't realize that it had no thread. So I found out later and I put that one back. I was bummed because they are super easy to list and super easy to sell. This one, um, the reason I'm looking at it even though it is partially done is because people will still buy them if they are a sought after um, print or pattern or whatever you want to call it. That one I looked up comps and they were not amazing so I just went ahead and passed. Okay, I do believe I'm at the next Goodwill, yes. And I probably should have got that willow tree. Um, I do pretty good with it. It's bread and butter, but um, I don't know why I didn't get it. And sock puppets. Huh. Let's see. Okay. So um, I have sold tool before, but if you can get it and lot it, it's, it sells. Uh, okay, so these are vintage feathers. And they're for like crafting and they're in the original vintage packages. I think they were $3.99, so I got them for $2 each. There were three bags. I'm not having much luck finding comps as you'll see um, at the end of the video, but I did grab them. So I've got six bucks and all those feathers. Now, these, I think they're called Lollapaloozy or Lollaps, I don't know, something like that. But they had like $14.99 on these each. So I passed. Even at $7.50, I thought that was a little high. But I don't know much about them. I've sold the minifigures, but never the um, big ones. And now that I see those porcelain dolls, maybe I should have looked at them better. Because I sold that one porcelain doll for a lot of money. But she was really big and really cool. That's some sort of a dinosaur... Thing. I looked it up and comps weren't, uh, they were okay, but they weren't great. Um, okay, I'm heading down to the games and the puzzle area. I don't know what that was. It's a treasure hunt, guys. It's a treasure hunt. That said watch, but I couldn't find a watch. I did get a backgammon game earlier today. Um, I don't think it's Bakelite, but I uh, it was pretty cool. It's one of those where maybe I shouldn't have bought it, though. It's 
pretty big. So let's see, I wanna show you guys something. I think I show you. All right. Maybe it must have been at the other store. I was thinking it was this one. I, I meant to look that one up and I forgot. Pictionary man. Man, I should have looked that one up. That might have been a good one. Never seen that before, but that doesn't mean anything. So I've got my feathers in my cart so far. And now I'm like itching to spend $20 so I can get my half off. Because nobody wants to pay full price when they can pay half off. Kadoo. Kadoo. Cranium Kadoo is not a bolo. Cranium Caribou is. Don't get them mixed up. It's kind of confusing. All right, so I don't normally look at shoes, but today I'm like, I need to spend some money. And I actually had bought two pair of shoes here before and they sold for good money. So I'm like, I'm gonna look at the shoes. And I do end up getting those little red um, shoes. The bad thing about them is they are a size six. And I think that size six is so hard to sell, but I'm gonna try it since they were half off. I did pick these up also. And um, the reason I picked them up is because they looked brand new and they were a size 11 or 12, I can't remember. So those bigger sizes um, sometimes do well. We shall see, time will tell. I almost bought these and I put them back. They were slip-on size 12 champion but I didn't. Probably should have. Probably not a big money item, but it could have been a bread and butter. You can see I put it in my cart. I put quite a few pair in my cart, and then I take them back out. <laughs> this pair I put in my cart and took back out. Um, just because they had like um, some staining on the inside, like from foot sweat or something. See it right there? And I was like, eh, I don't want to mess with that. But they're cute. They're like a patent, is it patent? Leather, they're real shiny leather. All right, let's see. I usually pick up the Spearies, but those weren't in great shape, so I passed. Lots of shoes. And they price their shoes, I think, kind of high for a reseller. Um, like $7.99, $6.99, $8.99, which on half off day, I mean, that's okay. I That's why I threw some in the cart. But if it would have been full price, I probably wouldn't have gotten any of them. So those are Tommy Hilfiger. Um, I think they were $7.99, so I got them for what? Like 4 bucks, which is still more than I like to spend on shoes, especially used shoes. But I think I can sell them. They're leather. Uh, the foot, the top of the foot is leather. I did look up those. They're St. John's Bay. Comps weren't great, so I left those behind. I thought about it, though. And let's see. Oh, I'm back at the other thrift store. So funny. Totally bouncing around. Those shoes are so weird. They have no writing on the inside, so I have no idea what brand they are. And the bottoms were so different. All right, let's see what we got here. I didn't buy any shoes at this store. I looked, I did look. I see people making so much money reselling shoes. And I do have a big money category bolo video on shoes if you haven't seen that definitely go check it out those were kind of fun little poof ball on the top it's so funny that I'm going back and forth to each store you can tell this shoe display is very different from the other Goodwills so one is a a Goodwill and the other is a Goodwill Unlimited and I have no idea why they have different names but they do.
All right. Let's get out of the shoes. Let's move on. Let's move on. Sorry. I'm looking at the shoes. You guys are probably getting bored. Enough of the shoes. Okay. So this is the cross stitch kit of the nursery prayer unfinished in the package. So mine has a frame and is finished or complete. These are the feathers. I just could not find good comps. I'm going to try typing in um, the brands at another time, but when I was looking this up, I didn't know any of the brands. So that may make it easier. Um, eBay may just be flooded with feathers. It might be an item that will do better on Mercari. Here's the, that brand of shoes, the navy blue ones I got. So comps aren't great, but um, they are a larger size, so hopefully they'll be okay. Um, these are the other shoes, uh, the ones that were red. Ortholite, and I think they're called, like, can't remember, it starts with a P. I'll show you here in a second. Let me go back over to some of the active listings. I think that's the same pair. Now that pair is brand new, and they have them listed, I think, for 59 so probably a bread and butter item. especially since they're a size six. Okay, these are just a bunch of Tommy Hilfiger sandals. I could not find the, the right, the same pair. So um, I think those will do well. I like the Tommy ones. And here's the little cross stitch um, pillowcase. There were no solds, these are actives. Here's the recipe cards. And again, these are actives. I don't think there were any solds. All right, you guys, and here is the mug. It's a winner, I think. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.